Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are once again playing Honkai Impact 3rd and we're talking about how to kill Kallen the level 27 or the adventure level 27 in open world. I actually did this last week so we can't really like see all the stuff about her but I did record uh, the actual process of killing her. Uh, but before we actually take a look at that we can uh, go into the team composition as well as the equipment I had. So, we're using all free-to-play Valks. The main star of the show is going to be Miko here. I've heard that nowadays people are using Night Squire for this, but I, d I didn't have Night Squire and I in fact still don't have Night Squire um, because I pretty recently returned to the game and I have been farming uh, her a little bit, 23 out of 30 currently, but uh, I also heard she needs to be S ranked to start doing some good stuff, so right. This video is mostly going to be focusing on Miko and the stigmata I had with her. I also did have Void Blade, which obviously isn't a free to play sword. Considering when I did have the right stigmata equipped and everything, uh, it was overkill at that point, so you don't necessarily need Void Blade, but uh, it should be at least somewhat decent. These are not the stigmata I had when I. Uh, killed her. So in the top spot we had Jingwei, which you can actually get here for the Sheiksel imaginary cores, 90 of them. It's not too expensive and it is a pretty good general stigmata as well uh, for perhaps Memorial Arena where there's only one enemy. And also in Kallen's case there's only going to be one enemy there. So you get 31% total damage multiplier there. It's pretty nice. And in the other two spots we had these Dark G whatever dudes. Um, we actually had the set M and B. Again, you can get these free, not from Gacha. The reason we chose this one is because we have 25% crit rate in Time Fracture, and for Miko, crit rate is very important for her blade back attacks uh, because when they crit, they do way more. And we chose B here, not really for the move and attack speed while in Time Fracture, but for the set skill where we get 40% physical damage while in Time Fracture. So, pretty much full damage here, gonna do a lot of damage. It's really nice. Uh, these two stigmatas, you get B here in the memory shop for all 125 of these Sheiksel Imaginary Cores. And the other one, you get from the Armada Terminal for your Ranger Reputation Tokens. So yes, this was pretty much her stigmata set. Before I go any further, I do want to give a big thanks to my Armada members for helping me out. Uh, because they really kind of had to guide me through this. Uh, but once they did, everything worked out really well and uh, could finally, finally beat Kallen. So besides Miko, she will be kind of the star of the show here. She will be the one doing all the damage, but her supporters will be Divine Prayer. Her role is very important as well, because in order to get all the buffs from the stigmatas we have on Miko, we need to be in Time Fracture. And Divine Prayer's ultimate puts you in Time Fracture for a good amount of time. It's recommended you have 140 SP, so we have that currently, just barely, but we have it. If you need a bit more, you can go with a two-piece set of Elizabeth. You get 10% more max SP in battle. Although, to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure if that would actually work. Um, because you kind of need to get that SP before you go into battle. So I'm not too sure if, if that would work. Just try and have 140 SP. And for the final piece of the puzzle, we have Yamabuki Armor. Uh, she is mainly going to be used for her leader skill, which gives you 24% crit rate when combo count exceeds 30. That may be more or less depending on her current, you know, ranking if she's S, triple S, double S, whatever. So for those two, I didn't take care of stigmatas too much. They had more or less random stuff on them. Uh, maybe it would work out even better if you actually sort of made them good, but uh, I don't think it's super necessary. You just need to make sure Miko is up to snuff and... Uh, that should be actually fine. So with that out of the way, we can discuss the strategy in killing her. All right, so now we're going to be taking a look at the video I took last week. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have the sort of thought to record beforehand, so we are already done with our first wave, but that's okay because the next two waves are going to be pretty much identical anyway. A few other things to keep in mind is that Kallen does take extra damage while in Time Fracture as well, so that even stacks on top of the other buffs. Uh, from Miko Stigmatas. And one other important note is that you cannot just backstab Kallen when she's next to, uh, I mean you can, you can backstab her if she's next to an, an elite enemy but it won't do anything or it'll do a tiny tiny amount that you won't really notice. So before we actually start this battle here, you want to make sure Divine Prayer is at max SP, so 140 preferably, you might be able to get away with a tiny bit less, 
by preferably 140 SP before you go into battle. Since this whole fight is divided in, into three sections, you can uh, go around and just smash up some enemies until you have full SP again, and then go into the next wave. It's not super important that Yamabuki armor has any SP, but it's also important that Miko does, because she'll need to use her ultimate uh, during Time Fracture. So here we go, let's take a look at wave two. Uh, there's Kallen just running around. Basically, you don't got much choice but just, just to go ahead and start fighting her. Uh, I went ahead and got a 50 hit combo with Miko to start off with. Um, so basically that's what you do, just keep hitting her, trying to dodge her attacks, you'll get some extra hits when you dodge from that, from all that stuff going around there. And then once you have approximately 50 hits, you're going to want to switch out to Divine Prayer. You know, you can get a few more hits on there while you wait for Miko's cooldown to get off cooldown, you know. And then go ahead and go into ultimate, switch back out to Miko, use her ultimate, and then just do her ultimate as you typically would. I, of course, activate uh, Void Blade's weapon skill here to get a bit more crit rate. And uh, there you go. So she went down. That was the second wave. And we have 26 seconds to uh, get rid of her for the final time. So, of course, in between waves, you want to go out, find some enemies, just beat them up until you have max SP on Divine Prayer and Miko, like so. And then when you find her again, just go ahead and repeat the process. We'll just go ahead and go through it again, so you can see. Uh, of course, it wasn't perfect, you know. Uh, when I was doing my ultimate with Miko, I did maybe one or two more blade packs than necessary, or um, one or two more dashes, you know, because you're supposed to stop every three, but yeah, whatever. It worked out, and that's all that really matters, I guess. So we only have actually eight seconds left until uh, she goes into this bursty, burn you up rage mode. So, uh... It was kind of it, it was kind of tight, but uh, it eventually worked. You can see those huge numbers there, 93k. I think that was 130 or so. So pretty crazy numbers when you stack all those multipliers on top of each other uh, with the uh, time fracture. Yeah, you can see me down there in Discord saying uh, thanks for the help. Yeah, they were very very helpful. Again, I've heard for the most part people were swapping out Nico with Night Squire to do this. Uh, I don't know anything about that. I'm not sure if it would follow the same sort of principle, probably with all the Time Fracture stuff and Divine Prayer using her stuff, you know, I can imagine it would follow nearly the same principle. Maybe just a different strategy as far as the actual attacking goes, of course, since they're different characters. But yeah, I guess that'll pretty much be it for today. Also, want to wish you guys a belated Happy New Year's. Um, but yeah, with... With that, there's not much else. If you have any questions regarding this, if there's something I didn't go over well enough, then make sure to drop that in the comments down below. Leaving a like if you have to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.